Hey guys, it's me. Today's video will be about how to make a birthday ribbon. In this clip right here, I'm just showing you all the things you will need. You will need a glue gun. <coughs> well, glue gun and um, thread and needle is optional. I suggest the thread and needle. I suggest both, but you will most definitely need the thread and needle. Try to get the curved needle. You need safety pins, three things of ribbon, scissors, and any decorations that you would like. Right here, I'm just um, cutting the ribbon and measuring it to make sure they're all even. Now, I'm on some new medication in this video, so I'm kind of a little jittery. Some of the ribbons wasn't totally even, but I mean, this is just to show you guys. I wasn't making this ribbon for anybody, so don't come for me in the comments <laughs> talking about, oh, that was it even though I ain't cut that right. I was just doing it just to show you guys how to make it. But <clears throat> if you are making it for somebody or for yourself, try to make sure it's even as possible. And yeah, I'm just cutting to make sure it's all even. Try to go ahead and cut all your ribbon. I waited until I, I waited until I got to each individual ribbon, but just cut all your ribbon in the beginning of the video. It makes it so much easier. For the base of the birthday pin, you're gonna need like four strands. And the way I'm gonna set it up is gonna be around eight for you to sew down. And yeah, I'm just making sure right here that is how I want it, how I set it up. Because once you sew it down, that's it. You can't really move it. So yeah, just make sure you set it up before you sew. And right here, I lost my curved needle, and so I had to use the straight one, but I highly, highly recommend that you go get a needle that's going to have a curve and it's going to look exactly like a C. It's going to help you out so much better than a little straight needle. If you have a straight needle and that's all you have, then yeah, use it. Right here, that's how I'm um, knotting my thread. I just wrapped it around my finger try to you know use just rub it rub my fingers together and then pull it down <clears throat> so the knot can be thick enough to hold the ribbon together that's why I did that and yeah right here I'm gonna sew it down so yeah Make sure when you are 
like sewing your birthday ribbon down, make sure you go in and do it a couple of times. Make sure to stay and hold the ribbon in place because you don't want your ribbon to be falling out or coming out of place. You want to make sure everything stays in place. So yeah, make sure you do it a couple of times. Right here, I just cut the thread and I'm about to do the knot just like how I did the knot in the first place. You want to do the exact same thing, but right here, I messed up because I haven't did like a birthday ribbon in so long, it don't make no sense. <laughs> but I should have, like, instead of me pulling it out, I should have, like, did it the other way so the knot could be close to the ribbon instead of so far away. You want to do it the opposite way when you're pulling it down. Yeah, I'm gonna show you. I did it with the red ribbon. I didn't do it with the black ribbon. I was, I was messing up. <laughs> but yeah, try to do it the opposite way and make sure the knot is thick enough to hold everything in place. Okay, at this point, I think I just gave up and just said, forget it. <laughs> I'm from the right here. I just put everything together and then just sewed it all as one so it would be easier because doing it individual would take long. And then remember, you got two other ribbons that you got to do, and doing it individual is going to take way longer. And I said, simple, easy, and fast. So it's going to be simple, easy, and most definitely fast. <laughs> so, yeah. Right here, I'm just going to do the same exact thing, but just go ahead and sew it all together to get it on that point. See right here, your girl was struggling. This is why I tell y'all to go ahead and get that curve needle to make it easier because with that straight needle and you trying to push it, it's gonna stick you and it's, uh. Well, I mean, we're making it work. We're making it work with what we got, so. And you see right there where one ribbon was left out, you can easily just go back and try to sew it back in like how I'm finna show you. But trust me, if you're, going, if you're trying to make breakthrough ribbons like a business or anything, you're gonna have mess ups at times and yeah. Just tripping on day, dreams got 
nursery and count sheep. I'm on my own, broken and alone. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, I'm searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're unaware. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there. It's in the air, like a blazing flare. Shadows in the atmosphere, charting the stratosphere. I prayed for you and kept you near, and hopes you chase away my fears. I'm on my own, you made it so. I'm sorry y'all, I lied <laughs> Right here, you see how I'm nodding Like I'm nodding in a thread Right here I show you how I pull it down Instead of me pulling it away like I did the first time Just wrap it around your fingers Rub it together And try to pull it down as much as possible And for the red ribbon, I'm just basically completing the same steps. The only thing different about the red ribbon is I'm using three instead of four to like make it smaller. Just like I'm going smaller every ribbon. So the black ribbon I did four, red ribbon I did three, and the specialty ribbon I did two. And basically that's eight, four, no, eight, six, yeah, eight, six, four. <laughs> Yeah, you know, right right here is six strands how I'm making it, so yeah. All around this empty town, I'm searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're unaware. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there. It's in the air, like a blazing flare.
right here i'm just cutting all my ribbon like i should have did before i sewed down the black one like i told you just go ahead and cut all your ribbon before you start sewing anything down it's going to be way more easier go ahead and get it on that way Points in blaming you, you did not know. Oh. I thought you were the one for me, that's why I give you everything. That was you crossed by the stormy seas, so you meant the world to me. I'ma let you go Yes. 
to hide my bad things, but it doesn't mean I lost my styling. Where were you when my heart was on the ground? I thought time would prove that you would stick around. I guess time starts down, a king without his crown. Now I'm breaking and you're faking, girl. You never made a sound. Right here, your girl was struggling. <laughs> um, if you gonna put it together like how I'm doing right now with needle and thread, I highly suggest you go ahead and just get that curved needle. It's gonna make it so much easier. Cause, ooh, child, look at the struggle. The, the, ooh, <laughs> like, oh my god. Or you, you can glue it together with the hot glue gun. If you're gonna do that, please make sure it's holding it together because it'll do it. Like, I just, I just really just recommend go ahead and just do it with the needle and thread because the glue gun and the glue, the glue, it can just fall off easily. It's not gonna hold up as long as needle and thread would. So, yeah. Make sure with needle and thread that you do it multiple times to make sure it's holding it together. Don't just do it one time and think that's, oh, that's it. Go through it, like, thread it multiple times. <clears throat>
Feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds. And right here, I'm doing the same exact thing with nodding it. Is wrap it around your finger, rub it together, and pull it down as much as possible to hold it together, especially at this point in the game to hold all the ribbon together. So, yeah. Now right here it's optional. Usually in the middle of the birthday ribbon you'll put the number like oh I'm turning 18, I'm turning 17, so you put 18 or 17 right there. I ran out of numbers because like I said I haven't did a birthday ribbon in so long. I was just using everything that I had left, so I just did something pretty right there and yeah, it's optional. You can dress it up, dress it down however you want to do it, however you want to decorate it. <coughs> Some stores that I recommend going to would be Hobby Lobby, Walmart, and Michaels. Our Michaels is expensive. <laughs> the one that I'll go to is Hobby Lobby, but like, with all craft stores, they be out of stock. They don't, especially Walmart. <laughs> like you gotta, if like a customer might recommend or say they want something in particular, and one store don't have it, another store got it. So. It's really on really you. Those are the three stores that I use. You can easily just go online, go on Amazon, because it's 2022, so we got all these resources. So, yeah. Now, the pen. Um, usually, I'll go online and try to find me some um, pens that it usually have it's usually a circle and the pen is already attached to the little circle so all you gotta do is just glue it on the back and that's it but like i said this is all i had so this is what i would do or what i was doing at first when i first started making birthday ribbons i'll just take a safety pen and i'll glue make sure like the opening is at the top like right there so you glue down the one that don't open if that makes sense i'm gonna show you and then to cover up the glue and make it all pretty or whatever you just cut a piece of ribbon and put it on top of the glue now i i don't know what was going through my mind but i should have put the the ending ribbon that's gonna be you know hanging on first and then put the safety pin on top of that and then cover the glue of the safety pin but you see how I'm gluing it at the bottom and leaving the open up, leaving the one that's gonna open up and hang to your shirt. Please make sure you do that, cause I done messed up so many times. But yeah, just watch it and you will see what I'm talking about. I'm on my own, you made it so, and now I'm chasing nightmares. 
And that's the one when I realized that I should have went on and put the ribbon that would be hanging from it. My mistake. But we finna fix it. We always figure it out. No points in blaming you, you did not know oh. I thought you were the one for me That's why I give you everything That was you cross by the stormy seas Oh, you meant the world to me Now, usually I will staple the ribbon together to make sure, like, it stays in place. Like, I, that's a big thing for me. Like, I have to make sure everything stays in place because I do not want anything to fall out of place. But to make it simple, easy, and quick, like the title of this video is, I glued it down. <coughs> but you're going to have to glue it down to the ribbon anyway. That's Unless you want to sew it, that's on you. If you have a sewing machine, you're blessed. <laughs> but just go ahead i just went on and glued it down to make sure it stayed in place and then i glued it to the ribbon because i mean ain't nobody finna wear it i might change it later on if somebody want this type this black and red color but this is just for you guys i'm doing it strictly for you guys so yeah it's on you Doesn't mean I lost my style. Darling, where were you? 